So my name is Joey Intrusi, and uh, my project is Defender Evaluation on One Cut Routes and Double Moves. So to the left, you'll see Alan Hearns running a double move called a Sluggo Route, where he essentially makes one cut in, and then he makes a second cut heading straight up field, fooling the quarterback on the play. So the goal of my submission was to evaluate cornerbacks on their ability to cover one cut routes, as well as double moves like this one here. So for any of this to work, I need to be able to identify when the receiver makes their cut in the tracking data. Um, it's definitely not an easy task when you're staring at millions and millions of rows of data, but when you actually plot the receiver's acceleration on the play, the picture becomes a lot clearer. So if you look in the chart on the right, you can see Hearns' acceleration. The two minimum points are the exact moments when he actually made each cut. So notice how sharp the movements are. I was able to detect this by creating function that identifies acceleration percent change. So with this information, I was able to vastly improve the route detail and create new routes such as double moves like this one. Um, I didn't want to just build out an evaluation model and not be able to explain what's going on. So here you can see Stefan Diggs in the white jersey working Ronald Darby on this 10 yard out route. So if you look on the pictures on the right, this kind of gives you a glimpse of some of the features that are in the model. So first you have the orientation difference relative to the receiver. So right after Diggs makes his cut, Darby actually gets completely turned around in the play. And the model captures this by identifying the maximum orientation difference, which is around 111 degrees. Next, we have the sideline velocity. So sideline velocity is essentially just measuring how fast Diggs and Darby are moving towards the sideline. As you can see, there's a pretty large gap between the two. So Diggs is pushing hard towards the sideline while Darby's still headed in the opposite direction. And next we have separation. So before the cut, Darby was actually less than one yard away from Diggs. After the cut, Diggs generated nearly six yards of separation. So these are only a few of the many features that actually go into the model, um, leaving Darby with a grade of 12 out of 100 on the play, which isn't very good. Um, for my analytics folks, this is basically just an inverse com completion probability model um, turned into a scoring function. So since I trained a model for each route, external factors such as air yards um, were left out and I'm only measuring the wide receiver and defender interaction. So to the left, you'll see the, the rankings for the one cut routes. Now keep in mind, this is 2018 data and these are all the hitches and the slants and the comeback routes, all the routes that are only one cut. Um, but it passes the eye test in my opinion. You can see Stefan Gilmore, uh, Patrick Peterson, you can see Darius Slay in there. Uh, if you look to the right, you can see the rankings on uh, double moves. And these, it has Darius Slay in there again, it has Stefan Gilmore. So it passes the eye test in my opinion. When I initially plot the rankings for both route types, I actually expected to see the chart on the left. Just like a linear relationship between one cut routes and double moves. Um, where if they were good at covering one cut routes, then they were probably good at covering double moves. However, that's not the case. The right hand chart was the reality of it. Um, you can see there's actually no relationship between a defender being good on one cuts and being good on double moves. So my initial thought was, wow, I definitely, I definitely did something wrong here. Um, but then it became clear to me that uh, for some players, there's actually a trade-off between being a good one-cut defender and being good at double moves. For example, they might be good at covering one-cuts because of their aggressive play style, but that leaves them susceptible to being burned on double move routes. So I used a method called clustering, and I was able to identify some of these tendencies in cornerbacks. So if you look at the very top, you can see the best all-around defenders. These guys are very rare. They're good on one-cut routes, and they're good on double moves. If you look on the far right, you can see the gamblers. These guys are very good on one cut routes, but they're they're very aggressive and get too greedy at times and they can be burned on double moves. Uh, if you look on the far left, you can see the conservatives. These guys have good discipline when it comes to double moves, but their lax play style allows teams to have easy completion on one cut routes against them. If you look in the very middle, you can see the consistently average. These guys don't really have a preference, but they're pretty average across the board. Um, and then lastly, we have the coverage liabilities. These guys have difficulty covering any type of route, one cut route or double moves. Teams should be actively trying to uh, target these defenders. Thank you.